Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. If you're new here, I'm uploading every day in January. Today I wanted to do a little life update type of video. I kind of wanted to do like a Q&A, but I kind of more wanted to like guide where what I'm talking about. And I don't know, I was just feeling super inspired and motivated. Got up and did a walk and a run today. I'm with my friends um, in Florida and they're super supportive. So I don't know, I was just like, let's get out the camera. I was gonna have a collab today, but that um, fell through a little bit. So, or not fell through, but we're moving it to a different day. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get out the camera, go down to the dock and um, just do a life update video. This um, will be pretty unedited. I might do a little cute montage in the beginning, but um, I'm doing uploads every single day. So I'm not gonna be able to have time to like pick out any of the little like pauses or anything, but I figured with you know the background being so pretty and the sun setting it wouldn't be a big deal to just have it be an unedited video so i'm just gonna talk my heart out for like 20 ish minutes catch up if you haven't watched any of my videos you'll get to know me a lot in this video i'm gonna be super open and spill the, the tea about myself so um if you're new here and you've been following along thank you um, go watch the rest of the videos from January if you haven't. I really love them all. They're all pushing me to be more creative and different and inspiring me and really getting me excited to keep going. Also check out Talia's video. She's doing uploads every day. I'll link her channel below and she's like my YouTube wife um, for the moment. We've been FaceTiming each other every day, keeping each other motivated. So I'm going to take this braid out just because I feel a little bit like a man. And I want to feel a little bit more feminine, so I'm just going to put my hair down. Um, so I have my little notebook that you guys know I love and cherish. And I just wrote a little bit of notes. Um, not really, though, obviously. Just, like, kind of, like, idea, um, topics of ideas to talk about. So I don't know where to begin. Okay, I guess to begin, if you're new here, my name's Taylor. I always forget to say that. I just don't really like to. Um, I'm a college student studying entrepreneurship at Bryant University. I'm from Cape Cod, Mass, um, and I'm in Jupiter, Florida, West Palm Beach right now um, for the next week. I'm going to also be putting up a vlog of this trip at the end of the week, so stay tuned for that. And I'll also be doing a giveaway at the end of the month, so I'll probably get a little, like, t-shirt or something for the giveaway for, um from my trip because you guys are like along with me and I don't know I love little giveaways so these are the topics that we'll cover in this video just in case you're like is it worth staying is it worth sticking around we'll talk relationships we'll talk college and plans for next semester classes I'm taking um, we'll talk post-grad plans career goals where I want to live uh, current friends and YouTube I think that's kind of like the basis of my life I believe um, so let's start with college plans. I go to Bryant University. I'm an entrepreneurship major and I really like it. I think that um, it's a little bit scary being an entrepreneurship major because I'm like, am I going to get hired as an entrepreneur? Probably not. Um, I kind of want to do my own thing. So should I be doing like an accounting finance role just to make sure I get a job after college? Maybe. I really don't know, but I really want to brand myself as entrepreneur if you have a business idea you're going to Taylor and I'm starting to make some money on social media I'll always be transparent about that um, so I also want to know do you guys think sponsorships are annoying because I'm starting to reach out to a bunch of companies only ones that I really initiate the relationship because that means I really care about um, that product and feel like it's bettered my life and it could better yours I'll never make money off of something that I feel like would harm anyone or would be like negative in their life I'm really not a materialistic person I keep it really basic so I don't want to promote anything that's like too I don't know just like not good so um that's one thing I'm curious if you guys care about sponsorships or if they're cool um, definitely let me know but yeah, I'm doing YouTube while I'm in college and ideally I'd like to be like a full-time YouTube content creator after college but then also not just doing that because I think it's annoying to watch like people that just do that I feel like you need something else going on so I'd also like to help people with their small businesses consult 
invest um, in businesses and all that. I have so many ideas. If you guys have been following me, you know entrepreneurship, marketing, all that's like a big topic of mine that I love. And I have a note section on my phone of about 70-ish ideas. Whenever I think of an idea, it just goes right in there. So I definitely like to pursue some of those. College plans next semester are to go to college. We were in person last semester and um, we're hybrid model. It worked pretty well. You can watch some of my college vlogs if you want. Just look up Taylor Vahey Bryant. I have some playlists too. Um, so that was kind of interesting. It was fun to be back. Just change of scenery and it felt very normal and safe. We got tested once a week. So I'll be going back to Bryant next semester for my sophomore year of um, spring semester and I want to tell you guys the classes I'm taking. I don't know. I just figured that was kind of interesting. So I'm taking honors marketing, um, information system analysis, which is like an Excel class I'm kind of scared of. Um, I'm taking writing workshop, fiction writing workshop, which I'm excited about, but I've heard it's a lot of work. So I'm a little bit scared about that, but I figured that goes into like the social media type of thing. I'm taking narrative filmmaking. Let's go. I feel like that one will be really fun and help me with my YouTube videos. I'm also taking accounting, which I'm kind of scared of. And I'm also taking, shoot, I knew I would forget one. Oh, um, foreign policy. So I'm into politics and like government and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, those are six classes and I'm taking six because I figured if one's too hard, I can easily drop it and then be like, okay like we're still good we still have enough classes so actually let me just quickly take a thumbnail and then i'll be back all right i probably hate all those um thumbnails but yes that's the plan with that and then i also wanted to briefly mention that until recently i haven't wanted to study abroad but now i kind of do and i don't know what the deal with covid is going to be i might explore semester at sea i might explore doing um study abroad over like winter or summer because I don't want to miss a whole semester of classes like that's stressing me because I don't know I just feel like that's a long time to be away from school when I love it so much but if you have any ideas about study abroad or if you've done it yourself like comment below let me know what your thoughts and feelings are I've been watching Daisy Blake one of my YouTube friends love you if you're watching this probably are um, and she has so many informational really good study abroad videos that are both like fun to watch and teach you a lot So I've been watching those and they're getting me like hype to like study abroad and I've been joking around with her that I'm gonna be her roommate for Semester at sea, so maybe that will happen. I don't know But um, she's awesome if you want to check out her videos on that so Let's also talk post-grad plans uh, Actually, let's talk about that later. Let's talk YouTube first um so youtube I, i'm in love with i i love this platform it's my favorite social media it's definitely the most work the most time consuming but the most rewarding i love the community i have been growing and if i get 10 genuine comments on a video like that's amazing i cannot even like believe some people have hundreds of thousands of watchers or viewers and like have that many comments i feel like that would stress me out honestly i'm so content and like feel so proud to have built what I have already and I'm like completely um not worried about the numbers like if it's a few thousand people that really love and support me like that's all I need um I have amazing YouTube friends that I'll get into later and I'm challenging myself to do daily uploads and sometimes things fall through sometimes a collab falls through a brand deal falls through but I'm committed to this and I'm getting up a video. I don't know if it's gonna be my best video. I don't know if it's gonna be the most edited or fun or whatever, but I got up a video. Yesterday, I was in the airport, edited on the plane, uploaded it, sitting on a bench, waiting to get picked up. I'm getting it done. I love it, this is what I wanna do, and I have to prove to myself and like my family and other people that I can do this. So, daily uploads, they're going great. And I feel like a lot of my videos are like pushing me to try new things and be more explorative and creative and do fun things. So I'm really grateful for that too. Grateful if you're watching this seriously, like I know you don't know me in real life, but please know that I care about you. I care that you watch my videos and feel so grateful for you. And I really can't wait to see where this like whole journey goes and I'm never gonna like be an annoying youtuber i promise i promise i'll always keep it so real if i get fake boobs you guys will know basically is what i'm trying to say 
all right let's talk friends so friends I've struggled with a lot I have some great friends at school at college but that was really the first time other than like a summer camp where I met my friend Morgan who I'm on um, this trip with right now at her house I have had a really hard time relating to people and feeling like I fit in and feeling like I'm valued in a friendship and so I guess I just want to remind people like if you're having a hard time with friends too like you're not alone it's not just you like it happens I think when you're different and you're motivated and you're creative and you're kind and outgoing like that's a lot sometimes or mature for other people your age so if you're watching this like don't feel alone if you're not always hanging out with people that's honestly one of the reasons why I love YouTube I would watch YouTube when I was younger as like a way to like have that social interaction I guess without having like a hangout with someone just seeing what someone else was up to almost building like a friendship with the people who were posting videos and that's what I want to do with my channel and that's one of the reasons why I love YouTube like one of the main reasons if I was just making these videos like to put in I don't even know like a case and like watch them later in life like I probably wouldn't like I love that someone else gets to like open this up and have it come on their home screen and like leave a comment and like it and send it to someone like oh it's so fun so like collaborative and like such a nice community Ooh, we have a little scenery and boat in the background okay Morgan was just talking to me um so the other oh friends like if you don't have friends right now like it will come you don't need to change who you are to like attract friends you just need to change um your like location and who you're surrounding yourself with and then the friends will come you need to manifest it like seriously DM me too if you like want to talk more about that because I could go into detail um hometown like high school was rough so I feel that and something else I was gonna say is make friends online like I know it sounds crazy but my YouTube friends are some of my best friends I really love them like we have such similar interests similar drive similar passion and having them in my life has been such a positive um I don't know way to spend time way to surround myself and it has really impacted me in the best of ways so that's also an option and if you're one of my YouTube friends watching this right now I seriously love you a lot um, okay, we'll leave it off with post-grad plans, uh, and then we'll end this video. So, post-grad plans, I really have no idea. Being down here in Florida in January, I just feel so much happier. I definitely think I suffer from a little bit of seasonal depression, and exercising is something that in the last year I've found is, like, very healing and comforting for me, and in New England and Massachusetts, it's very hard to exercise for, like, eight months out of the year when it's cold. Um, I also had a back surgery, so my back like starts to hurt more when it's cold and i just don't want to go outside i don't want to go for a walk like i know they say oh get get in the ten thousand steps like just do it like even if it's cold even if it's raining but i think like the nice weather it would just make such a big difference so i definitely am gonna look for something some change and then career plans i honestly have no idea uh, sometimes i think management consulting sometimes i think just a marketing job sometimes i think just full send work for myself so I guess only time will tell with that, but um, I, I'm i excited, honestly. I'm excited for the future and what lies ahead. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. I hope that was a good little, oh wait, I didn't talk about what I want in a relationship. Okay, we can save that for another video because I think Morgan wants me to come up and eat or something. So yeah, we, we can talk about that in a vlog or something later, but I'm really happy that you guys spent the last 20 minutes with me kind of catching up and hearing about me and I want to hear about you comment something you know anything like if you watch this video and you made it this far just think of a comment I promise I won't judge you I love reading the comments and I feel like I asked some questions of you guys throughout the video so definitely don't be shy thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it Ew, that was kind of cringe and I'll see you in my next video bye